This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Donald Trump points out the hypocrisy of Clinton's participation in the Wisconsin voter count. President-elect Donald Trump took to Twitter early Sunday to call attention to the stinging hypocrisy of Hillary Clinton after her campaign announced Saturday they would participate in the Wisconsin voter count initiated by the Green Party's Jill Stein. Stein officially met the deadline to file for a recount in Wisconsin on Friday, pledging to also initiate recounts in Michigan and Pennsylvania. But to the surprise of many, Clinton's general counsel announced in a blog post on Saturday that Clinton's failed campaign would also participate in the voter count, citing a desire to ensure the integrity of the election results. This despite Obama administration officials saying they have full confidence in the election results and that the will of the American people was heard on election day. Still, it doesn't erase the fact that Clinton and other Democrats lectured Trump and his supporters over the election results. No matter the result on election day, Democrats said Trump must accept the will of the American people. Of course, Clinton never thought she'd be on the losing side. But Trump hasn't forgot those lectures. In a statement on Saturday, he declared Stein's recount effort a scam designed to raise money for her party. In several tweets late Saturday and early Sunday, Trump took it a step further and pointed out the hypocrisy that is Clinton's participation in the recount, that she only wanted America to accept the results of the election if she won. Trump then went on to tweet comments Clinton made during one of the presidential debates, when she scolded Trump for not saying outright that he would accept the results of the election. Stein is initiating recounts in three of the states that paved the path for Trump to win the White House. The president-elect ended up securing more than 300 electoral votes, but without winning Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania, Trump would not be president. However, there isn't much to worry about for Trump and Republicans. Even the experts the Clinton campaign consulted about the election results said there were no abnormalities and that it was a fair election. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.